So welcome to Angel Health Academy. Subject Community Health Nursing. Topic for the day is Revised National Tuberculosis Control Program RNTCP. Revised National Tuberculosis Control Program Part 1. RNTCP or Revised National Tuberculosis Control Program is one of the most important topic in community medicine and community health nursing. So I would like to make this video into uh, four different parts. So depends upon the uh, content because it is very broad and it is very vast. In the first part video, it includes uh, introduction, global scenario of RNTCP, history, milestones, beginning of RNTCP, its goals, objectives, program indicators and phases in the phases of RNTCP in that pilot phases of RNTCP. In the second part video, I will uh, explain in detail about the first and second phase of RNTCP with the strategies, activities, organization structure of RNTCP, diagnosis, laboratory network of RNTCP, and new and newer initiatives in RNTCP. In the third part video, I will explain in detail in separate about the DOTS program, its components, uh, treatment of TB, DOT plus, uh, then other important concept regarding to DOTS. Then in part 4, I will explain in detail about the phase 3 of RNTCP that includes universal access phase or national strategy plan phase. There are two phases that is 2012 to 2017 that is national strategy control phase and uh, they followed by 2017 to 2025 that is national strategy elimination phase of uh, tuberculosis. Then I may include the role and functions of a community health nurse in TB control programs. So let us start the first part of the video of RNTCP that is part 1 with the general information of uh, tuberculosis control program and RNTCP with the uh, phases. Introduction. Tuberculosis is one of the major health problem in the developing countries. Like India in the developing countries it is the one of the major health problem. There are many major health problems in India in that one problem is one important problem is tuberculosis. As you know, it is an airborne disease which is spread through the droplet infection containing TB bacillus that is tuberculin bacilli that is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis discovered by Robert Koch of Germany on 24th March 1882. So the mycobacterium tuberculosis was discovered by Robert Koch of Germany on 24th March 1882. So, this bacilli, TB bacilli, also known as Koch's bacilli, as it is invented by or discovered by Robert Koch, it is known as Koch's bacilli. The World TB Day, Tuberculosis Day, is celebrated on 24th March every year. As it was discovered by Robert Koch on 24th, so 24th is the day, 24th March is the day of every year to celebrate World TB Day. The theme of the World TB Day 2022 is Invest to End TB, Save Lives. Invest to End TB and Save Lives. It conveys the urgent need to invest the resources in TB management, thus to end the TB and save the lives of the tuberculosis people. Next is the types of tuberculosis. Let us summarize about the tuberculosis, not in details. The main types of tuberculosis includes two types that is pulmonary TB that is the most common type affecting the lungs of the tuberculosis patient. Then extra pulmonary TB EP that is it affects all the organs except the hair and nails of the client except hair and nails such type TB is called extra pulmonary TB. So there are mainly two type of TB that is pulmonary TB that affect only the lengths of the patient that is the most common tuberculosis and second one is extra pulmonary TB that is EP that affects all the organs of the body except hair and nails. Next is the stages of TB or stages in TB. There are mainly three stages in TB. First stage is exposure stage that is the static stage. In latent stage of TB there won't be any signs and symptoms or specific or cardinal signs and symptoms of TB. So patient suffer from TB without any symptoms is called as latent stage. The another last stage is active disease stage or active disease in which the clear cut uh, signs and symptoms of TB is present or manifest in the tuberculosis patient. 
So there are three stages in TB that is exposure stage, latent stage and active disease stage. Latent stage is the stage with no signs and symptoms of TB. In India nearly 40% of the patients suffering from TB are in or comes under latent stage. Because of that it is very difficult to identify the patient who are suffering from TB and give the adequate treatment. Let us see the significance of the TB. The untreated sputum positive cases of TB patient, if the sputum positive cases of TB are untreated, not treated well, the such person can infect, one person can infect nearly 10 to 15 persons in a year or each year. Then next is the poorly treated cases, that is complete treatment is not given or the client is or TB patient is discontinuing from the treatment. Such cases are called poorly treated cases, not the complete course of the treatment. Such patients develop drug resistance. Those people may not be cured properly or completely. So the poorly treated cases develop a drug resistance. Drug resistance can lead to multi-drug resistance to TB. The other important significance is TB, TB is the one of the most common infections in people living with the HIV or AIDS. So TB is the most common infection among HIV or AIDS patients. So that means the problem of TB is further worsening due to HIV or AIDS because most of the people suffering from AIDS or HIV may suffer from TB and thus it increases the incidence or prevalence of multi-drug resistance TB cases, MDR TB cases, not only in India but also throughout the world. So the, the tuberculosis problem is worsening due to HIV or AIDS. Here you can see that 32 percentage of the death in HIV patients are due to tuberculosis. So 32 percentage of HIV deaths occurred in patients with the TB co-infection. So TB is the co-infection in people suffering from HIV or AIDS and that leads to nearly 32 percentage of the death in HIV or AIDS patients. These are the some of the significance in relation to tuberculosis problem. Then TB control programs. The TB control programs are implemented or started in India for more than 50 years. Now more than 50 years India is India is trying to control and eliminate the TB problem by starting TB control programs. So government of India started the TB control programs more than 50 years or before 50 years. That means after the significant survey conducted by government of India and conducted various research during 1950 and 1960s, government of India was launched or started a national tuberculosis program or national tuberculosis control program NTCP in 1962. So government of India started the first national TB control programs in 1962 through district TB centers, through district TB centers with BCG vaccination and TB treatment of that is short course TB treatments. So to control the tuberculosis in our country, government of India after a long survey and research between 1950 and 1960, government started the first national TB control programs the NTP or NTCP in 1962 through the services were rendered through district TB centers with BCG vaccination and short course TB treatment. In 1992, Government of India along with the WHO and SIDA that is UD's International Development Agency and International Agency evaluated the program of National TB Control Program and found they have seen that many lacunae or deficiencies such as inadequate funding for the program for the National TB Control Program and incomplete treatment for the people, in, incomplete treatment for the TB patients. That is only 30 percentage of people only got the adequate treatment through National TB Control Program. Thus, NTP was unable to make much improvements in India. The treatment success rate were unacceptably, unacceptably low that is nearly 30 percentage only. Complete treatment for TB patients was only 30 percentage that was very low and both the death and discontinuing of the treatment or incomplete treatment the tuberculosis patients were tried to discontinue in between the course of the treatment that is a default rate were remained high. It was very high in our country. Thus, later in 1993, in order to overcome the deficiency of NTP, that is National Tuberculosis Control Program, the Government of India decided to give a new program to revitalize the 
current national tuberculosis control program as RNTCP that is revised national tuberculosis control program as a pilot project and phased manner with assistance from the various international agencies such as WHO, UNICEF etc. So later in 1993 in order to overcome the deficiency or the lacuna of the national TB control program the government of India decided to start a new trust to TB control activities or program by revitalizing the current national tuberculosis control program as RNTCP. So NTP was renamed as RNTCP that is revised national TB control program as a pilot project pilot project for three years then in a phased manner first phase second phase and the third phase with the assistance from various international agencies such as WHO, UNICEF etc. The next is global scenario of TB or size of the problem both in the world and in India. According to WHO TB report 2020, there was an estimated incidence of 10 million people per year in the world. The whole world or the worldwide there are 10 million people per year according to the WHO TB report 2020. Out of this 10 million, 5.6 million were men, 3.3 million were women and 1.1 million were children. So, according to WHO TB report 2020, there are 10 million people per year suffering from uh, tuberculosis in the whole world or worldwide. In addition to that, TB is present in all the countries over the world, all over the world and in all the age groups. That is the global scenario of TB. Regarding size of the problem in India, in 2021 World Health Organization TB statistics for India revealed that there was an estimated incidence of 2.64 million cases TB patients in India. That is the highest cases in the country of the world. So, India contributed the highest cases that was 2.64 million TB patients in India. So, according to World Health Organization TB statistics for India 2021, there was an estimated incidence of cases of 2.64 million TB patients. So, this is the rate of uh, nearly 193 cases per 1 lakh population per year. So, in India per 1 lakh population there are 193 cases in a year. Out of that about 40 percentage of the cases are, uh, comes in the type of latent TB with no clear cut signs and symptoms of tuberculosis. So, in India there are 193 cases per 1 lakh population per year. Out of that, about 40 percentage of the total cases have uh, the type of latent TB with no clear cut symptoms. That is the significance we, the Indian government face difficulty to diagnose the all the TB patients and give the accurate treatment. Then regarding the mortality statistics, the TB kills an estimated 4,80,000 Indians every year and more than 1,400 people TB patients every day. So, every day there are 1,400 death rate among TB patients. And that is an estimation of 4,80,000 Indians per year die from tuberculosis. When considered in a single day, it will be nearly 1,400 tuberculosis patients. Then more than that, in every 3 minutes, there are 2 deaths from TB in Indian population or TB patients. So, every 3 minutes, there are 2 deaths. So, in addition to that, uh, unfortunately, we have uh, more than a million missing cases per year or every year. Because we couldn't uh, get a proper diagnosis or notification of the TB patients. Because most of these TB patients, uh, either they may be undiagnosed or not diagnosed or they may be unaccountably or inadequately diagnosed and treated by the private sector in India. Private sectors, that means a private hospitals and a institution in India. So, in India, more than a million cases are every year missing for the proper diagnosis and treatment. That also another significant problem for the government to tackle the cases and control and eliminate the TB cases in cases from India. Then, next is the history of TB control program in India. So, history of TB control programs. 
the significance of the TB or TB patient or TB picture started to becoming clear with the introduction of the tuberculin testing that is Mandok test in 1907 and 80s. Until that it was not clear about the TB patients and their statistics. So it was clear that is TB picture were clear from the introduction of the tuberculin testing in 1907, 1907 and 1908. Then, TB problem in India was first recognized by the All India Sanitary Conference, which was held at Madras in 1912. So, in 1912 at Madras, by All India Sanitary uh, Conference, the TB problem in India was first recognized. Then, later in 1939, with the establishment of the TB Association of India, Government of India started anti-TB programs or movements. So, the anti-TB movement in the country, started with the establishment of the TB Association of India that was in 1939. So, 1907 to 08, we have got a clear picture of the TB with the introduction of the Mandos test. Then in India, first time it was recognized by the All India Sanitary Conference in 1912. Then anti-TB movement in India started with the uh, establishment of the TB Association of India in 1939. Then in 1946, with the Bohr Committee report, which was estimated that about 2.5 million patients required treatment in our country and we had only 6,000 beds available for this 2.5 million during 1946. So, according to Bohr Committee report in 1946, the total TB patients was estimated 2.5 million patients in India, but uh, India had only 6,000 beds available for this 2.5 million patients. That was the significant of the TB problems in India during 1946. Then followed by in 1951, WHO and UNICEF took a keen interest in providing assistance and support or help for the uh, all the countries all over the world with introducing or by introducing the mass BCG vaccination with low cost. So, WHO and UNICEF introduced the mass BCG vaccine against tuberculosis with the low cost price or with cheapest price from 1951 onwards. Then, Government of India launched the first national tuberculosis control program that is our national TB program NTP in 1962 with long term and short term objectives. So, the national TB program in India was launched in 1962 with long term and short term objectives. So, Government of India started the first national TB programs NTP in 1962. The long term objective was to reduce the prevalence rate or prevalent rate of TB uh, from India that is less than 1% by 2025 and from the world that is less than 1% of uh, in the prevalence rate of TB by 2030. So, the long term objective of national TB program was prevalence rate of the TB has to be brought down or reduced to less than 1% by 2025 in India and by 2030 in the world. The short term objectives of national TB programs were first one is to detect the maximum number of TB cases from the country and treated effectively with the short course treatment. Then vaccinate all the newborns and the infants with the BCG vaccination as a primary prevention for the TB prevention. The last, last short term objective was undertake above objectives through integrated phase or integrated manner of available or existing government institution to prevent the TB. So, render the TB control services through the existing or available institution, government institutions such as sub-center, primary health center and district TB center uh, in an integrated manner of services with the collaboration and the cooperation. So, integration of the services by the existing institution, government institution to achieve these objectives. Then, the National Tuberculosis Program was implemented in India through district TB centers in a phased manner. So, the objectives of the National TB Program were achieved through the district TB centers or the TB control services were uh, rendered through the district TB centers in a different phased manner. So, NTP services was done in a phased manner through the district TB centers from 1962 onwards. During this period, the government of India had a crisis, financial crisis. So, they were not have sufficient or adequate fund to 
are under the services through National Tuberculosis Control Program. Therefore, Indian government were depending on from the external sources such as WHO, United Nations for the fund or financial support to meet the public health goals in our country. So, during the time of National Tuberculosis Control Program, during 1962, government of India has a shortage of money, that is financial crisis or financial backing to meet the uh, public health goals or to promote the public health. So, therefore, external sources of funding, the fund is connected from the external sources such as WHO, United Nations, etc. to, to promote the health of the public health in India to maintain the public health goals. Then in 1992, the WHO and SIDA, that is CDC International Development Agency, International Organization, evaluated the program of National TB Control Program and they found many lack of our deficiencies. Such as the program, National TB Control Program was technically, it was very sound, but there was a managerial problems or managerial weakness due to finance or other uh, things. Then there was a shortage of fund, that is inadequate funding or financial support. Then lack of information on health outcomes, the result of the treatment, completion of the treatment, there was not clear. There was lack of information and communication system. Then inconsistency in the uh, proper and effective diagnostic techniques. During that period, there was only that uh, TB diagnosis was reliant only on uh, X-rays. Then there was inconsistency in the treatment regimen or treatment patterns. Treatment regimens or treatment patterns was not in correct order. Then there was a low rates of treatment completion. So, the TB patients were completed in a lesser rate such as only 30 percentage of the uh, TB patients only completed their treatment during, during 1992 when the national TB control programs were implementing. Thus, NTP, our national tuberculosis control program was unable to make uh, much improvement in the treatment and control of the uh, tuberculosis in India and they had very low uh, completion of the uh, treatment that is 30 percentage and there are there were more death among the TB patients and the default rate that is the incompletion of the treatment or discontinue of the treatment during the complete course of the TB treatment also were high in the uh, in our country. Then moreover, at the time, as per the government policy, Indian government had a shortage of the modern powerful drugs to treat and control the TB such as rifampicin, ethambutol, pyrocinamide, etc. So, the government of India lacked modern powerful drugs during the period of national TB control programs. So, because of all this reason, our first uh, TB control program, that is National TB Control Program, that was 1962-1992 was failed. In addition to that, during the same period in 1993, WHO declared TB as a global emergency, especially in the developing countries. So, 1993, World Health Organization declared TB as a global emergency. TB as a global emergency, the world emergency, especially in the developing countries. Then, WHO devised along with this declaration, DORS, that is directly observed treatment short course. And the doors were recommended to follow all those countries, developing countries and other countries to tackle the, to control the TB. So, in 1993, WHO declared TB as a global emergency, especially in the developing countries. And along with that, WHO recommended and devised the doors as the effective treatment to the TB that has to be followed by all the countries. Then later in 1993, government of India began the revised national tuberculosis control program rntcp that is government of india renamed national tuberculosis control program as revised national tb control program based on the dot strategy as per the recommendation of the who and this program was first run by as a pilot project for three years it was a pilot project in our country and later it was launched as a national program from 1997 onwards so, Government of India replaced the National TB uh, Control Program uh, in 1993 and renamed this program as Revised National Tuberculosis Control Program RNTCP. Then it was based on the DOT strategy. So, RNTCP was based on the DOT strategy according to the WHO recommendation. Then RNTCP was introduced in India first as a pilot project. Then later it was launched as a national program from 1997 onwards. 
Then after a long period, later in 2012-2017, Government of India introduced a National Strategic Plan for TB Control and followed by in 2017-2025, another program that is National Strategic Plan for TB Elimination also were introduced by Government of India as part of the TB Control Program. So, so India as part of the TB Control Program in 2000. 12 to 2017, the government of India introduced the National Strategic Plan for TB Control. And uh, after that, uh, 2017 to 2025, another uh, plan that was an elimination plan, uh, that was National Strategic Plan for TB Elimination were introduced uh, by the government as a part of the TB Control Program in India. Then in 2020, uh, government of India renamed RNTCP, Revised National Tuberculosis Control Program as National TB Elimination Program, that is NTEP. So, from 2020 onwards, uh, RNTCP was renamed as a National TB Elimination Program in India. Thus, India had a TB control program since 1962, that was the first program that is that was National Tuberculosis Control Program. Since then, it has uh, reorganized itself into two times of so government of india uh, reorganized the national tb control program into two times so first is in the 1993 as revised national tuberculosis control program then later as national tuberculosis elimination program in 2020 so this is about the history of tuberculosis control program in india so next is milestones of rntcp so the history of rntcp or tb control program in india can be summarized into milestones of rntcp so in 1912 the tb problem of india was first recognized by the all india sanitary conference held at madras so the tb problem in india was first recognized by all india sanitary conference in 1912 then the anti tb movement started in india by tb association of india from 1939 onwards so from 1939 onwards the anti-TB movement started in India by TB Association of India. Then in 1962, Government of India introduced the first National TB Control Programs. So, National TB Control Program in India firstly introduced in 1962. Then 1972, the introduction of short course therapy in the treatment of the TB. So, short course chemotherapy in TB treatment is introduced in 1972. Then 1992. The government of India along with the WHO and SIDA reviewed the National Tuberculosis Control Program. So that is the NTP review by government of India along with the WHO and SIDA was done in 1992. Then 1993 WHO declared TB as a global emergency especially in the developing countries. Then in the same year NTP was renamed as a RNTCP, that is Revised National Tuberculosis Control Program, as a pilot project with the DOR strategy. So, the RNTCP introduced first as a pilot project from 1993 to 1996. Then later, 1997, RNTCP launched as a national program in India and it, it was expanded in the phased manner. The first phase of RNTCP was 1997 to 2006. So, 1997 to 2006 uh, until 2006 uh, is the first phase of RNTCP. The under percentage coverage of the national wide coverage of the RNTCP occurred in 2006. So 2006 uh, under percentage national wide coverage of RNTCP. So RNTCP covered almost all the district of the country and there was a under percentage coverage in 2006. Then in the same year, 2006, WHO introduced or declared Stop TB Strategy. So, the Stop TB Strategy also started in 2006 by World Health Organization. Then second phase of RNTCP that was from 2006 to 2011. So, 2006 to 2011, RNTCP considered as the second phase of RNTCP. Then 2007, the DOT plus is introduced for the treatment of the multi drug resistant tb that is mdr tb so dot plus in india were introduced or launched in 2007 onwards then national strategic plan for tb control launched in india uh, between 2012 and 2017 so 2012 to 2017 national strategic plan for the control of the tb launched in india 
Then National Strategic Plan for the TB Elimination is introduced in India from 2017 onwards. That is from 2017 to 2025. So, 2017 to 2025 National Strategic Plan for TB Elimination. So, one is for control and one is for elimination. Control is from 2012 to 2017 and for elimination that is from 2017 to 2025. Then, in 2020, Government of India renamed RNTCP as a National TB Elimination Program. This is about the milestones of RNTCP. Now let us discuss in detail about the RNTCP. First is beginning of the RNTCP that is Revised National Tuberculosis Control Program. So as we have already discussed, the Government of India introduced the Revised National TB Control Program in 1993 by renaming the present project of National Tuberculosis Control Program. Then this program was started as a pilot project from 19. 93 to 96 with the DOT strategy as recommended by the WHO. RNTCP in India was built on the same infrastructure, institution and systems that is already built for the or built through for the uh, built for the NTP National Tuberculosis Control Program. There are some major additions to National TB Control Program for the RNTCP. The additional facilities for the RNTCP was establishment of a TB unit, decentralization of TB services, DOT strategy introduction, DOT providers introduction, phased manner of rendering TB services that is RNTCP, then formation of state and district TB control societies. Let us discuss briefly about this major addition. So that is first one is establishment of a TB unit that is considered as a sub district supervisory unit and uh, appointed a dedicated RNTCP supervisor for the particular TB unit. So the TB unit was a sub-district supervisory unit. Then decentralization of the services of uh, TB that is both the diagnostic and the treatment services were made decentralization. The services were available through sub-center, primary health center, district TB center etc. That was the decentralization of the diagnostic and the treatment services of TB. Then Introduction of the DOT strategy that is the most systematic and cost effective approach was adopted as an internationally recommended that is WHO recommended to increase the treatment completion rate of TB. So formerly with the National Tuberculosis Control Program the treatment completion were only 40 percentage to increase the treatment completion rates of TB as per the recommendation of the WHO DOT strategy were introduced it was most systematic and cost effective approach and moreover it was was done to revitalize the uh, present TB control program in India. Then about the introduction of the DOT providers. So the DOT treatment were given under the support of a DOT provider that was also introduced through RNTCP. Then phased manner. So the program of RNTCP or services of RNTCP expanded as a phase 1, phase 2, phase 3 program. So RNTCP was undertaken in a phased manner with rigid appraisal. Appraisal means rigid monitoring and evaluation of the districts, each district. So prior to introduction of RNTCP, there was a strict monitoring and appraisal or evaluation of the district for the services. So that is about the phased manner. Then formation of state and district TB control societies. So as the structural arrangement, the structure for the RNTCP and for the transferring of the fund for the revised national TB control program, then maintaining the account and uh, records etc. The district and state TB control societies were formed in respect to the RNTCP program. That is formation of state and district TB control societies. It was the infrastructure or structural arrangement for the fund transfer and account maintenance for the RNTCP program. This is about the, in short, about the uh, beginning of the RNTCP program in India. Now let us discuss the goals of RNTCP program. The general goals of RNTCP program was to decrease the mortality and morbidity due to TB. Mortality means death rate related to TB and morbidity is the disease rate uh, that is incidence and prevalence rate of TB. So first goal was to reduce the mortality and morbidity due to TB. Second goal was to cut down the chain of transmission of infection of TB by DOTS. So introduction of the DOTS strategy in the treatment of TB to cut down or to break the chain of transmission of 
infection of TB from one person to other persons. So these were the two goals of RNTCP. One is to decrease the mortality and the morbidity related to TB and second one is to cut short the chain of transmission or block the chain of transmission of infection of TB by DOS strategy by introduction of the DOS treatment. So next is the objectives of RNTCP. There are two types of objectives that is initial objectives and later objectives. So RNTCP when it was begun in the first phase or pilot phase there was a initial objectives. Later when it becomes second and third phase there was a later objectives. So the first initial objectives of RNTCP was to achieve and maintain a case detection or TB diagnosis of at least 70 percentage of the total estimated cases of new sputum positive TB cases that is new sputum positive TB patients through quality sputum microscopy test through quality sputum microscopy test to detect at least 70 percent of the total estimated cases. The second initial objective was to achieve and maintain a cure rate that is treatment completion rate cure rate of at least 85 percentage in those patients through DOTS directly observed treatment short course and through involving the peripheral health functionists, peripheral health workers or health personnel. So second initial objective was to achieve and maintain a cure rate of TB patients of at least 85 percentage. So 85 percentage cure rate through DOTS and by involving the local health person that is peripheral health personnel or workers. The second is later objectives of RNTCP. The later objective includes the first one is to achieve 90 percentage notification and case detection of the TB patients. So all the TB cases has to reported or notified to the concerned health organization that is maximum 90 percentage notification and detection of the TB cases. Second objective was to achieve 90 percentage success rate, treatment completion rate and prognosis or success rate for all new cases and 85 percentage for the previously treated cases. So to achieve a success rate of 90 percentage for all new TB cases and 85 percentage of the success rate for the previously treated cases. The third objective was to significantly improve the successful rate or maximum outcome rate of the treatment of multi drug resistant cases. So maximum prognosis or uh, successful outcome of treatment of multi drug resistance TB cases. That is the third later objective of RNTCP. The fourth objective is to achieve a decreased rate or reduced rate of both morbidity and mortality of HIV associated TB cases. So to achieve a decreased morbidity and mortality rate of HIV patients or AIDS patients with associated with or co-associated with TB problems. The last objective was to improve outcome of TB cases in private sector. So maximum treatment to the patients who are admitted in the private institution that is private sector. So to improve the treatment outcome of all the TB cases in the even in the private sector. So that is 90 percentage notification, 90 percentage success, 85 percentage of the uh, treatment success of the previous cases, then maximum improvement in the treatment of the multi drug resistant cases and reduction of morbidity and mortality of HIV patients or AIDS patients associated with the TB problems and improve the success of treatment rate of the all the TB cases who are either treated or admitted in the private sector or private institutions. So these are the five important objectives later objectives of RNTCP. Next is the program indicators of RNTCP. So the case detection, early detection of the TB cases of TB patients so that is from more than 70 percentage to more than 90 percentage. Started with the more than 70 percentage of case detection. Then in the later phases it was more than 90 percentage of the case detection. Then success rate of the treatment or cure data more than 85 percentage to more than 90 percentage. Then death rate among the TB patients so that must be or that would be less than 4 percentage of the death rate and the failure rate of the treatment that also must be less than 4 percentage. Then a default rate that is a discontinuation of the treatment uh, course of uh, TB patients so that must be less than 5 percentage. So the program indicators of RNTCP was case detection has to be more than 70 percentage to 90 percentage of all the cases has to be detected or diagnosed. Then success of the treatment or cure rate must be more than 85 percentage to more than 95 percentage or even 100 percentage. Then death rate of the TB patients 
that should be less than 4 percentage. So total death rate of the TB patients must be less than 4 percentage. Failure rate of the treatment of TB patients must be less than 4 percentage. And default rate of that is uh, TB patient those who are uh, discontinued with the course of the treatment uh, that also must be less than 5 percentage. So these are the program indicators of uh, RNTCP. Next is the phases of RNTCP. So there are mainly uh, three phases with the uh, including pilot phases. The period between 1993 to 1996 is uh, considered as a pilot phase of the RNTCP. So RNTCP pilot phase is uh, between 1993 to 1996. Then the period of phase 1 of RNTCP is between 1997 to 2006. This phase is also known as DOTS intensive phase. So, phase 1 RNTCP is also known as DOTS intensive phase. The period between or starting from 1997 to ending 2006. Then the second phase of RNTCP, the period is between 2006 to 2011. So, the second phase of RNTCP is starting from 2006 to 2000 ending with 2011. Second phase of RNTCP also known as stop TB strategy phase. Stop TB strategy was declared by WHO in 2006. Thus, this phase is also known as stop TB strategy phase. The last phase is phase 3. Phase 3 of RNTCP also known as universal access phase or national strategy plan phase. National strategy plan phase. There are two national strategy that is duration between 2012 to 2017 that is national strategy control phase that is the period between 2012 to 2017 and followed by 2017 to 2025 that is elimination phase national strategy elimination phase of tuberculosis. So these are the phases of RNTCP. So pilot phase between 93 to 96, phase 1 between 97 to 2006 also known as DOTS intensive phase. Phase 2 is between 2006 to 2011 also known as STOP TB strategy phase. Then phase 3 is universal access phase which includes a national strategy control phase that is between 2012 to 2017 and national strategy elimination phase between 2017 to 2025. So first is pilot phase of RNTCP that is from 1993 to 1996. Government of India introduced or renamed National Tuberculosis Control Program as RNTCP from 1993 onwards. In the first three years it was a pilot project. So the RNTCP strategy was introduced in our country in India uh, as a pilot project in a phased manner that is pilot phase 1, pilot phase 2 and pilot phase 3 that is from 1993 to 1996. The strategy of the pilot phase were first one is passive surveillance. Conduct the survey uh, to detect the TB patients in our country. That is passive surveillance. Second one is examination of sputum of the TB patients or the person who shows the symptoms of tuberculosis that is cough more than two weeks. Then detection of the TB patients through X-ray. Uh, during the pilot phase of RNTCP, the X-ray uh, diagnosis was more uh, reliance. So uh, diagnose the TB patients through X-ray that is X-ray of patients, then uh, detect the TB patient with the Mandox test, that is tuberculin test. Detect the cases of tuberculosis patients through tuberculin Mandox test. Then fifth strategy was BCG vaccination for all newborns and infants through universal immunization program from 1990 onwards. Then free supply of anti-tuberculin drugs, anti-tuberculosis drugs to all the TB clinics of the country by the state government. So, Free of cost supply of anti-TB drugs by the state government to the to all the TB clinics in that particular state or all the TB clinics in the districts of that particular state. Then development of or establishment of TB training centers in the major states in our country. So development of or establishment of the TB training centers in the uh, major states in the country. So these were the initial strategies of RNTCP during the pilot phase in 1993 to 1996. Then RNTCP pilot phase was emphasizing following activities. So activities of RNTCP pilot phase. The first activity was intersectoral collaboration or uh, coordination or cooperation including medical colleges. Intersectoral collaboration means uh, intersectoral coordination between the sectors like uh, sub-center, primary center, 
district health center community health center district hospital medical colleges and tb units in the districts etc so there would be intersectoral coordination and collaboration including medical colleges for the early detection and treatment for the tb patients so first activity was intersectoral collaboration then second activity was expanding the rntcp services to the difficult area rural or remote area for the that detection of the cases and the treatment for the tb patients then supervision and monitoring of all the activities under rntcp so supervision and monitoring of the activities of the health workers under rntcp then fourth activity was drug resistance surveillance conducting the survey to identify the tuberculosis patients those who have resistance to particular drugs then sixth activity was tb hiv coordination so early detection and proper treatment of the accurate treatment of the hiv or aids patients those who are suffering from or those who are having co infection with the tb so eighth activity was operational research conducting various clinical oriented research in relation to rntcp services in relation to detection of tb various treatment and various diagnosis then iec activities information education and communication activities to uh, increase the awareness among the public in relation to rntcp services and doors programs then other activities so these are the uh, different activities were rendering uh, through the pilot phase of the rntcp thus increase the curing rate and re reduce the death rate and the default rate among the tb patients in our country so thanks for watching hope this video really benefits in your studies and uh, exam purpose i have been explained in detail and in depth of the rntcp with this first video the part 1 and in the following videos part 2 and part 3 i'll be explaining the second and third phase of the rntcp and then including dots programs if you feel it is worth and benefit please like and share my uh, channel and stay tuned with angel health academy for the second part of the video of rntcp I eagerly welcome for your suggestions, so please make your suggestions and opinion in your comment. Thank you.